Shalom. This is Rabbi Sachs. We're going to forge ahead with Maimonides' codification of the mitzvot, of the, the mitzvahs mentioned in the Torah. So we are, we are going to do study today together, um, positive mitzvah 61. If you wish to see the previous 60, then go to the Chai Center, thechaicenter.com forward slash academy and then project 613 is the place you want each day is a short clip so the, the positive mitzvah 61 is is a biblical command that whenever you offer up a sacrifice you have to make sure that salt is always offered with it this is the reason by the way when we sit down to a meal whether it's shabbat or otherwise and we have we we have bread or chali bread we take the the bread or the challah bread and we dip it into salt because the table that we sit on is um, symbolic of the altar so we always have the table that we sit around i should say not sit on is symbolic of the altar so we always have salt on our table now there are many reasons theories um, posited as to why we have salt was was needed when you offer a sacrifice so i'll give you a couple of them one is is that the animal was from the animal kingdom the um you know the 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 fire was uh, wood burnt so that was from the uh, vegetative kingdom. The person bringing it was the human kingdom. What was missing was a, a, a something from from um, you know there, there, there was no there was no element. So salt was offered as as uh, on behalf of of um, of all the nutrients as you know as the king of all nutrients etc. So salt was offered. Um, as, as to, to so that way everything came together right so that you have the the um, all, all the kingdoms came together when you offered a sacrifice also an interesting thing with salt salt um, shrinks right if you put salt on meat as we do in kosher it shrinks the meat you put a pickle in brine it shrinks the pickle so on the one hand the lesson of salt is is that it takes away because it shrinks something. On the other hand, it preserves. So by by the lesson of salt is that there are things that we can do in our lives that while it may minimize, um, for example, our funds, we give charity. So it's true, we've shrunken our funds. We give 10% to charity, but it also preserves the rest. It's a blessing that when a person gives charity, it preserves, you give 10%, the other 90% is preserved. And um, that's a lesson we get from salt. God bless and be well.